Also tonight, we're supposed to be staying at home, but how can you stay at home when home is like a hell because of your neighbors? Constant parties, fights, even gunfire. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey talking with a family so fed up, they're packing. So this is where the bullet pierced through the floor. The bullet hole from April 13th is still visible in the corner of Christina Craven's carriage house lofts apartment. My daughter could have died. My husband could have died. I could have died. But now she's packing her stuff into boxes. Even after shots were fired at the illegal party in the unit below her, she wasn't set on moving. But the parties didn't stop. 70 plus people. Spill, fights spilling into the hallway, blood on the walls. Again, I'm speechless. This is your home? Yes, yes. Residents have sent us video after video of police being called to the apartment multiple times within the last month. One large party escalated into a violent fight that left blood smears in the hallways. And Craven is not the only one fearing for her safety. We're not able to social distance because so many individuals are coming to party here. Well, the parties got worse, 50, um, 50 people sometimes partying, chicken in the elevator. We tried to reach out to the two problem units identified by police. We wanted to get a comment from you. But nothing, even though one is registered as the address for a catering company. When Craven said she tried to break her lease, she was asked to sign an agreement that said she couldn't make disparaging comments against her landlord. Like it's an obligation to the other residents of the building, to just the public in general, to leave an honest and truthful review on Google or whatever platform I choose. We reached out to the management company. Oh, and thank you for calling local by Laramar. This afternoon, I got a call from Laramar Corporate. A representative told me that of the 20 cities they have properties in, Carriage House Lofts is by far the problem child. Laramar said they've moved to evict both of the troublesome tenants, but the moratorium on evictions has stopped them from being able to physically kick them out. The representative also promised to follow up with Craven about the troubling clause in her termination agreement. But these residents say 24-7 security is the only thing that will make them happy. I don't feel like they're taking the appropriate measures that they really should have and could have. Chicago police confirmed at least five calls for service for disturbances during the COVID-19 pandemic. We reached out to the city to see if there were any special considerations for evictions during the pandemic. We have not received a response. In South Loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.